In this video clip I'm going to show you how to set up the next two components which are the vertical and horizontal stabilizer from the gliders that you have created in a rough sketch format. So the first thing that I would like to do here is I'm going to look, I'm going to zoom in on this, and I'm going to look at the horizontal stabilizer first. So the horizontal stabilizer goes a total distance of 60 millimeters or 6 centimeters across to make up the trailing edge and the leading edge then is 24 millimeters or 2.4 centimeters. So to get started on that I'm going to go back into Inventor and I'm going to go ahead and open up the template. So the glider project and I'm going to go look for the fin template. Here's a stabilizer wing template. Hit open. And from here, I'm going to then rotate once again, so it's nice and flat. And this is basically half of the balsa wood piece that I'll be able to use for both horizontal and vertical stabilizer. So I'm going to use half of it for the horizontal stabilizer at this time. So I'm going to start a sketch right on the surface. Once again, I'm going to grab the uh, line tool, and I'm just going to create a line from here to here. Hit escape to get out of the line tool turn the line tool on and use the center line to find the midpoint of that line segment which is green go up hit escape to get out of the line segment and we're going to be dimensioning so let's go back to our drawing we said that 60 so half 60 is 30 since we're drawing half of the horizontal stabilizer so 30 and 12 so let's go ahead well this will be 60 This is going to be 12. Okay, I need to figure out the cord length of the horizontal stabilizer, and we can go back and let's take a look at that. So we can look at that by looking here 18. The total length here from this part to this part, the back of the fuselage is 50 subtract 18 we got the 32 that we need okay so this is going to be 32 and then we go back again we need to know the measurement here is 15 so I'm going to grab my line tool go up 15 now remember that all once again these measurements will all be according to your rough sketch don't use my rough sketch use your own 15. Okay. Now we're going to create a three point arc connecting this end point here to this end point here and put a radius on that edge. So on tangent is right about there, or we can bring it in a little bit. Put it right there. It's about 20. Okay, and I can dimension it. Hit D for dimension. It's at 20.057. I can leave it as is, it's no big deal. And from here, then I'm going to mirror. So I'm going to grab the mirror option, grab the mirror line, click on the mirror line, and then select all components or all geometry that needs to be mirror, mirror to the other side. Hit apply, hit done, return, extrude, and we're going to pull out all of that area outside of that needs to be cut away from the balsa wood. So later on, whenever we take these drawings later and set them up as 2D printable files sorry not printable files but vector cuttable files uh, we will be able to use then the laser uh, engraver to cut out each of the fins or each of the specific parts that we need so I'm going to go ahead and cut distance all the way through and hit OK so there is the horizontal stabilizer once again, I can then go ahead and draw a line directly down the middle, uh, just for purposes of alignment later on when we take this into our animation. I'm sorry, not animation, but our assembly file. And now I'm going to hit return, change the material to wood ash. So scroll down until we find ash, and then we're going to save it. So save as, so we can save over the old one. Vectal glider parts, this is now the horizontal stabilizer, so Bechtel H stabilizer. Save. OK, 
Okay, there it is. Minimize that one. Let's move on to the next one. We will do the vertical stabilizer now. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the vertical stabilizer. We're going to pull open a stabilizer template again because they're both the same. Not the wing template. That's a combination of both of them, but we're just doing half of that, which we're ready to do. And hit open. And from here, once again, use the look at, sketch, and let's start drawing out what we need. So this time, it's going to be vertical, so going up, there's one line, and we'll draw another line over here. And then we're going to be creating the arc that we need um, by looking at our drawing. So as you can tell, here is what we're drawing out. Okay. So the height, I'm actually missing on here. So I'm actually going to make it equal to the uh, length. Okay, the length was 32. So we'll make it 32 by 32. And then we'll create the arc to give that rounded edge. So hit dimension, D, dimension, 32. And then 32. Once again, reminder, this is the time where you put in your own dimensions, not what I have. And then I'm going to create the arc. Okay, we can have it slope. We don't want it sloping inward. We want it sloping right about there. That's good. And hit the D for dimension and dimension this as well. So the radius of that edge, connecting this corner to this or this endpoint to this endpoint, is 85. Hit return, and now let's extrude that whole part away. Cut distance all the way through. Okay. All right. So there you have it. That is your next piece. So let's change this now. But before we do that, I'm going to draw a line right down the bottom. It doesn't matter which side. Um, we'll start a sketch right here. And I'm going to draw a line, once again, for alignment purposes, whenever we create the assembly file. And hopefully this will help us. All right, hit return and change it to wood ash alright there we go and there's the vertical stabilizer so we'll go ahead and save again save as so I'm just gonna click on this one and just change the H to V for vertical stabilizer so we have three components now created or part files for the glider and I'm gonna minimize this one and the next video clip I will show you how to create the fuselage and the fuselage fuselage is a little bit trickier because you're going to then need to um, determine where you're going to have individual cuts for each piece to fit. And that is the end of this video.